Productivity apps on Linux are seeing quite the revival, from specific apps for designers like Akira, Inkscape or Krita, to pure organizational tools like Planner. One such app that has been around for a long time is Getting Things Gnome. It has recently been ported over to a more Gnome 3 look and feel, and it's now a strong contender to my favorite, Planner. Let's see what it can do. What is Getting Things Gnome? GTG is a productivity app, an improved to-do list based on the getting things done principle. This basically boils down to sort your tasks into an inbox, where you then either do the task if it's very small and quick, or put it away into various categories that you created, like important, to read, later, etc. GTG started back in the GNOME 2 era in March 2009 and quickly evolved into a complex and feature-rich task and project management application. Unfortunately, the initial developer, Lionel Dricot, didn't build a business model around the app, and when he started working on it in November 2013, it was left by the wayside. It still worked, but it was getting increasingly obsolete and wasn't up to the more recent GNOME standards in terms of interface. That's where Jean-François Fortin came in and started picking it back up. He had been using the app for 10 years and was afraid that, with its state, it would quickly stop being packaged by various distros. In November 2019, he shared a survey asking users if they were interested in supporting a revival of the application, to see if he could reasonably dedicate the resources to it or not. Turns out the survey must have been positive because he started working on a new updated version of GTG and released a new version on July the 17th of 2020. This new release follows the GNOME 3 HIG with a header bar and got hundreds of bug fixes. The features. GTG isn't a simple to-do list application. It looks simple on the surface, just create a task using the plus button, fill in some details, and when it's completed, you just close the task. Where GTG shines, though, is with its advanced features. GTG supports tags, which lets you sort your tasks. Tags can also be hierarchical, so you can nest tags inside other tags to really filter down your task list. Tasks could be created for various projects, and then parts of these projects, or you could group them by context to do all the tasks that are related in one go. For example, if a task requires me to phone someone, I can add a phone tag, and then find all my tasks that need me to give a phone call to anyone, and do them in just one go to be more efficient. That's one of the principles of the getting things done philosophy. Since you can add multiple tags to a task, you can use both organization systems at the same time, with projects and contacts, or any other sorting method you're comfortable with. To add a tag, just type the add symbol in the description of the task, and then the tag name, so you can create them on the fly, or you can click the add tag button for a list of all your tags. The tasks are displayed with three states, open, actionable, and closed. Your open tasks are all the tasks you've created. The closed tasks are the one that you've dismissed or marked as done. And the actionable view allows you to see tasks that you can actually do something about. For example, you could have created a task to repaint your kitchen, but it's not doable before you've actually bought some paint, so that paint the kitchen task can be marked as non-actionable. It won't show tasks that have a start date in the future, or tasks that still have unfinished subtasks. You can even set a whole tag to not show up in the actionable view if you want to avoid displaying certain tasks that are not purely productivity related and not clutter your task list. Each task can have multiple subtasks, and these can also have subtasks if you want, so you could have one task for a whole project and then use the various subtasks to further divide your project. This, combined with the tags, lets you really work in the way you prefer and organize your to-do list exactly how you'd like. Each task can have a start and an end date that you can fill using the dedicated fields or just type in natural language and GTG will automatically fill them in. Each task opens in its own small window so you can keep them open on your desktop if you prefer to have some tasks always at hand. Tasks and tags are editable and you can edit multiple tasks at once to change their tags all at once using the right-click menu or hitting Ctrl plus T. GGG actually uses tons of keyboard shortcuts if you're more comfortable with that. These can be all discovered using the menu button. If you feel like you won't be able to do a task today, you can quickly move its start date using the Start Tomorrow button or use the drop-down list to set a new start date. Now, if your task list gets too cluttered, you can filter them using a search that will look through all the task titles, descriptions and tags. These searches can be saved and will appear in the sidebar if that's something you're going to look for often. GTG supports plugins, like sending a task via email, looking at tasks you haven't touched for a while, or use a color code to quickly identify high-priority tasks. 
Finally, GTG also has a quick add bar on the bottom of the app that you can invoke using Ctrl plus L. Now what's missing? GTG has a huge amount of features that really let you tailor how you organize your tasks and how you'll complete what you set out to do. Still, I feel a few things are missing. First, fans of a per-app dark mode won't be pleased, as GTG only uses your main theme, so you can decide that GTG is dark themed when the rest of your desktop uses a light theme. GTG also doesn't allow for advanced searches with multiple criteria like start or due dates, which limits the efficiency of saved searches a bit. GTG also doesn't offer any form of syncing, although this could be added by anyone who wants to contribute. It's a complex feature to add without using commercial or closed source services, so it's not in there as of yet. You could still use any syncing tool like pCloud to sync your database to other devices, but you won't get to sync to a mobile app, for example. Jean-Francois, the main developer, actually told me he would rather people help work on various bits that they feel like they need, instead of burning himself out on developing everything, which is a reasonable stance in my opinion. GTG doesn't seem like it supports notifications for tasks either. What's next? The next release, GTG 0.5, will focus on performance and usability, with a tag editor redesign, a single window mode for people who don't want pop-up tasks, and adding a CalDAV backend for syncing tasks, along with multiple bug fixes, improvements to the documentation, and smaller usability updates. The team seems to be targeting the 25th of December of 2020 for that new release, and it's, at the time of this video's release, 20% done. So, to conclude, GTG is a fantastic tool. It's super flexible, using tags, due dates, start dates, and subtasks, and it really lets you organize yourself the way you want to work. You could only use tags for context and quick filters and sort everything using subtasks, or you could only depend on tags and never create a subtask at all, or mix and match to suit your workflow. In that way, it's more flexible than Planner, for which tags are just used to identify tasks in the list and can be used to quickly filter your task list. Opening tasks in their own sub-windows might not be for everyone, but I think it's a great touch to let you keep what you need in sight. Personally, I still prefer using Planner for my tasks, since its organization is already very well suited to my needs, and I like the fact that it's an elementary OS app. But for a GNOME user, GTG would probably be better integrated. If you need a powerful to-do list app that can scale with your needs, and you don't depend on an integrated syncing solution, then GTG is one of the best solutions out there. Simple to use, well integrated with modern Linux desktops, and super powerful when you need it to. GTG is available on FlatHub and in the AUR. So that's it for this tour of GTG, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. If you really did like the video, you can also join the channel on YouTube or on Patreon, and get access to early blog posts, a monthly exclusive patron cast, and the right to vote on the next video topics I work on. Check out these perks using the links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!